I whistle because you know what? I was when I years ago I met a black fella in Lacombe when I first moved out west, and he said you should always keep a song in your heart. So over the years, when I worked at or every job I ever worked at, I whistled at work. But it's it's very important to me. I think what's the significant thing that I believe the whistling does is number one, it'll pick you up any day. You're you're not with it. Any day you're feeling down, you you're not with it. Like you're not yourself. You know, it's raining out. Well, do I want to go out today? But you have to. So you're walking down the street and you got that gloomy look on your face because it's raining out. Not good. All of a sudden, you hear this guy whistling. Raindrops keep falling on my head. You start smiling and looking at him like people have done, and give me a thumbs up because it made your day. It, it just made your day. You just changed your day from being gloomy to having a good day. He's somewhat of an ambassador for the for the Dream Center. He goes downtown through Eau Claire Market and that sort of thing, and and whistles and tells stories and said, you know what, I used to be here years and years ago, but I'm no longer there. I now have a home at the Dream Center, and I'm getting my life turned around. So, so Mike's an example of of giving somebody an opportunity, and giving them a, a place that's structured, with a good environment, with good help and good people, what they can do with their life. Because years ago, Mike wasn't there because I really didn't want to get back into living on the street and drinking every day again. Because I, I you know, it put, me at the, it put me to the point where I'm a nobody. Do I want to die in nothing? Do I want to be like a bag and take? That's where I would be drinking out there on the streets. I'd be blacked out, even in this kind of weather, believe it or not, sleeping out there. The only difference is I would die and I wouldn't know. I just wouldn't wake up that's what would happen. And this is what's keeping my life together, keeping me motivated to do what I'm doing. And what he's done now is he's turned his passion and his skill uh, or gift of whistling uh, into uh, fundraising for children uh, of, of residents of the Dream Center and uh, takes that money into, into buying toys for them. This Friday night, the December 19th, will be my reward. I get to perform live the Whistler's Christmas for those children I went and got these toys for. That's my Christmas. That's, my, that's one of my dreams come true. And it would not have happened if it wasn't for the Dream Center. The Calgary Dream Center is like a lifeline for me. There's joy in it. And the joy lasts a lot longer than the fun. The fun is day to day, the joy is forever. And that's why, that's what inspires me to keep going.